Hello and today I'm going to show you a vandium pentoxide experiment. You see a camera there to capture it up close in high speed and the sulfur dioxide generator, sodium sulfite, a label error here and we need to add the hydrochloric acid. Okay, I'm adding, taking it right now. I'm just estimating. Okay. Now a little bit of water. Here's the vanadium pentoxide. A little bit of water. Okay, just to prevent fuming and to prevent it from getting a little too vigorous. So in here I have sulfuric acid and vanadium pentoxide and water. So I'm now going to open the chamber. I can smell it. A little bit of a color change. I can smell the sulfur dioxide. It's turning a little bit blue. Yep, I can kind of see a blue tinge. And I can smell the sulfur dioxide quite clearly. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, you can clearly see the product of this reaction. Yeah, it's. I think I'm gonna um, complete it some more. If some. You can clearly see it behind the white background. But when I like swirl it around. Like all the vanadium pentoxide, like eats it all up. But I had a little bit of suck back, so that's why I took over. I took out the tube before it sucked into the reaction flask. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know if I should continue doing the reaction. seems good to me once you let it settle down you can clearly see the nice blue color of vandil um, sulfate uh, and it's in the plus five oxidation state still and something else I want to show you guys an update uh, um, just go. Yeah. Yeah, I got a few stuff. Devorath alloy. And. Ammonium molybdate. Yeah. And also I have caustic soda at the back there. 
but I had that for quite a while. So yeah, goodbye.